Hey guys, a bit of a rant today. Apologize for the lack of a hockey mask, but I just don't own one. I like to have backup iron sights on my guns. Not every gun, not every single time, but if there's room to put them on there and they're not going to cause a problem, I say, why not have a backup sighting system in case your primary optic goes down, especially in the case of variable optics, which to me are probably the most fragile class of optic you could put on your gun. But a lot of people see me shooting guns like this and they say, why would you bother putting backup iron sights on that gun if you don't have a quick detached scope mount? And that leads to me asking, what is it you think backup iron sights are for? And I could already answer it. What you're, what you're thinking there is if your optic goes down in the middle of a gunfight, you can strip it off the gun as quickly as possible, deploy your backup iron sights and continue firing. But that's just one of many potential scenarios where you want a backup sighting system. It's also probably one of the least likely. It's kind of like that famous picture of an EOTech that's been shot with a shotgun. And it's like, hey, look at that. If the front glass is completely shattered out, the reticle still exists because it's projected via other means. Well, if you uh, take a cloud of buckshot in the middle of a gunfight and it destroys your optic, you're probably not going to be fighting, at least not for much longer. But whatever, there are other reasons why you might look at that attribute of an EOTech and say, hey, that's a, that's a nice feature. That's the same thing with backup iron sights. There are a lot of ways that your optic could go down in a lot of different situations, especially if you are in the field for a period of time that doesn't give you an opportunity to replace your optic. You know, if this Vortex Venom 1-6 to dies while I'm in the middle of a, a two-day hike or hunting trip or some kind of field exercise or some kind of combat situation, whatever your LARP fantasies uh, dictate, well, I don't have time to get this thing warrantied by Vortex. I'm sure they'll take care of me if I can ever get back home and if the company still exists, if the country still exists. That's not what the backup iron sights are for. This is for stuff like you wake up in the morning and find that your optic has lost its nitrogen purge because there are a lot of moving parts in these scopes. They are also filled with nitrogen to keep the bad air out and the moisture away. And it's possible that the nitrogen seal could leak especially if they get very cold or undergo extreme temperature shifts, and then the thing will get filled up with moisture, no longer be usable. Now, I'm not being actively shot at at the moment that I'm like, wake up in the morning, look at my optic and see that there's moisture in it. So what do I do? I pull out a Torx driver and I remove the optic at my convenience, flip up the backup iron sights, and I'm good to go. Uh, these, uh, this is an Aero Precision Ultralight mount. There's also like the Vortex Sport Cantilever. Uh, a lot of them just use a Torx T15 bit to secure to the rail. And that's the sort of thing you can very easily stash in the pistol grip along with a little, you know, battery pack or sachets of lube or whatever it is you want to put in there. So it's very easy to remove those scope mounts in the field without advanced tools. Same thing if anything's got like a thumb screw mount or one of those, uh, you know, like quarter inch cross bolts. Uh, you got a pair of pliers on your multi-tool? I hope so. Go ahead and just take that scope mount off your gun at your convenience flip up the iron sights and now you are still able to shoot in the event that you need to shoot. Now if your only concern is deploying sights rapidly in the middle of a gunfight maybe that's something where you would want to go for uh, offset backup iron sights for example. Magpul also makes a set of those. Um, those don't require you to remove the optic at all so you can just immediately deploy them and continue shooting. They also would work great if you had a fixed scope mount that is not fast to remove in this scenario but just in general that's probably a little bit faster than removing even a QD scope or red dot mount. A lot of QD optics mounts are quick to detach, but not always easy to detach, especially sometimes if they're very tight, or, you know, if you try to get your fingers in the middle of a little tiny latch, especially those ADM ones that uh, almost everybody uses now, where you have to press one little thing down and lift the other little thing. Probably faster to deploy offset backup iron sights. So if that's what you're looking for, maybe you're using the wrong QD mount. Maybe I'm not using the right sights. I don't know. Are backup iron sights a bit of a security blanket? Probably. Optics are pretty damn good now. Most red dots have extremely long battery life, so you're probably not going to need backup iron sights to compensate for a dead battery. Again, you're going to have advanced warning in the field, like if you have an EOTech, it'll start blinking hours before it runs out of battery. Or maybe you turn it on in the morning, again, notice that it's got the low battery thing or just won't come on, and you have ample time to replace the battery with a store, a spare stored on the grip in your kit somewhere. You're fine. Another possible scenario is that you're hiking around in the woods and you drop your gun, spike it into a rock, destroy your primary optic. Well, you don't need to rapidly deploy your backup iron sights to return fire to the rock because it called no punchback. Well, you've got all the time in the world to pull the Torx out of your grip, take the mount off, deploy your backup iron sights, and now you still have a functioning weapon. Maybe not as functional as it would be if you had a nice piece of magnified glass on there, but still, it keeps working.
And the last reason for me to keep backup iron sights on some of my guns is because I have chosen the terrible life of a YouTube cringe fluencer, so I'm moving optics around between guns all the time. Sometimes it's nice to be able to have backup iron sights that stay on a gun and stay zeroed so I can still shoot it if I want to test it for other reasons, even if I have to take the optic off, donate it somewhere else, sell it, send it back to whoever loaned it to me, whatever. Is that a scenario that applies to you? God, I hope not. This is not a lifestyle you want to live. So I'm not saying you need backup iron sights. I'm not saying you don't need a QD optics mount. That's your prerogative, man. It depends on what you're gonna do. Just think about it and decide what's actually going to work for you, what you're actually worried about. If you have a rock solid optic, why worry about backup iron sights? If you've got a budget LPVO in a spindly aero precision mount and you have a lot of first-hand experience sending stuff back to Vortex for warranty work, well, then you might want to consider some backup iron sights, even if you cannot deploy them immediately after getting blown up by an RPG and jumping Lone Survivor style off of a boulder. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. You can also check out the links in the video description to my Subscribestar page where you can get early access to videos, bonus behind the scenes content, little sneak previews of projects that I'm working on. You can also check out my Linktree link for channel sponsors and other affiliate stuff, social media, if you care to follow me around on the internet like some kind of fucking creep. And I'll see you guys next time.